Hello, this is Nick of Crafty Nick Knacks. Welcome to my channel. So today I want to share with you my Japan home and Miniso haul. So my husband and I went out today to have the pair of pants that we bought for our son exchange because we bought the size too big. And then we decided to go out and check out Miniso and Japan home. Actually, it was me who decided that I wanted to check them out. Well, my husband went around them all. So let me show you. I actually combined the bags together to make them fit because I bought with me a small echo bag. So but let me show you real quick. So these are the two bags. This one contains most of the Minis the Japan home items. And then this one has Miniso and one of the Japan home things that I bought that's really big. Okay, so let's do Japan home first. So, this bag first. I got this A4 case. It's now 138 bucks. The first one, I used this. I have one like this. It used to be just 99 pesos a few years back. I'm using that one, my old one, for my die cuts. Uh, but I need another one. Mainly, I will use it for my washi tapes. So for the rolls that I usually set aside um, samplers of my washi tape, but I need a place to store my washi rolls together. So this will be it. This way it's easier to see what rolls I already have. So that's that. And then I bought these two cases, which I am planning to use as my vial holder actually I haven't tried let me see if it fits yeah it fits perfectly see that this way I can retire uh -oh. this one there I'm using my makeup lipstick organizer it's a bit dirty um, but this way I can use this it saves more space it can hold a lot more and it has a cover so that the dust doesn't get in there. So I bought two. And then last, oh no, not yet last, but I bought this for our toothbrushes to cover toothbrush. Not really for my craft nut. And then the last one, which is in the Miniso paper bag, let me take it out. This one. A4 rack. It's that. Oh, planning to put this on top of my printer to for my stack of papers because I have one tray, um, but it's hard to take out stuff when they're piled together. So I'm going to put this on top of my printer so it's easier to take out stuff. There. So that's my Japan home haul for storage. Now let's get on over and get the Miniso one. Let me just try about the Miniso one. So this one is actually for home use, which are cotton buds. And then, next is this mirror. You know, I didn't check if it's broken or not. I hope it's not broken. Because so I need a mirror in my room. I don't have one. And when I put on makeup, I go to my parents' room to put on makeup. So at least now I have my own mirror, I can do my own makeup. Oh, I still need to assemble it. So here's the mirror. It's really nice. Oh, you can see my stuff. There. Here's the base. And this pretty thingy. It will, it's supposed to look like that. The next, I got this. This is a pill organizer, but I'm planning. What I'm planning to do with this one is to get samples of what do you call these? Not concealer, liquid foundation for my sister, because we have the same skin tone, 
and she is obsessed with makeup or she loves makeup and she tries a lot of brands i'm not really a fan of trying a lot of brands because they're kind of expensive and not something that i enjoy spending money on and we the problem is we are both we both have sensitive skin and since we both have sensitive skin i find it hard to buy makeup for me and then it will end up just you know be i'll end up being allergic to it so what she did is she she has a, a several makeup some of them she's already allergic to some not we usually rotate makeup so that we don't develop the allergy so she's going to give me samples like two pumps worth of um foundation and put them in here there so yay i'm excited when i meet her i'm gonna give it to her and then aside from that the last thing that i bought are these these are acrylic drawers and I'm going to put my pens inside. I got the idea from my friend Jekka of Craft Starter PH. So she put her pens inside and I figured, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And actually the most ideal way to store your pens are horizontally so that the ink doesn't dry. Because if you store it this way, the ink's gonna dry up because everything's gonna go down. And if you store it this way, the ink's gonna go down here and then you'll end up with a bleeding pen. So, or hiccuping pen. So, right now I'm storing them this way because I've stored them this way for months and when I tried them, a lot of them were dry. So, most of them were dry, writing dry. So, I stored them this way overnight, hoping, hoping that it'll fix that. But now, but since it happened, I decided, okay, it's now time to get the horizontal storage drawers for my pens, for my beloved pens. So, I will try to fix my craft nook and see how it goes. There. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the bell button on the side to get notified of new videos.